Deshaun Watson, as mentioned, shows up for the start of offseason workouts. The Brown tweeted QB1 is in the building, and it's just so weird to see him walking in the snow, but he's happy. Hey, look, he's finally back in a place where he wants to be. He didn't want to be in Houston at all last year. We know the story very well by now, and, you know, the reality is as that that happy photo is being taken, there are still 22 pending civil lawsuits. We still don't know what the league is going to do. And Shereen Williams and I were talking about this last night on PFTPM. It's just a reminder. When you see that, it, it, it's vivid. This is still there. It's not going away. No. The sooner it goes away, the better off everyone will be. Get everybody in a room, get a retired judge that everybody respects, that the lawyers will listen to, and broker a settlement of all the cases and just move on. I think we're at the point where Watson needs it, the Browns need it, and the fans definitely need that to be gone. Because every good thing that happens is going to have that asterisk on it. You see that great picture yesterday of him showing up in the snow with his fingers up. What's the first thing you think? Well, he's doing this. That's half of the lawsuits that he's facing. You're right. I mean, yeah. That's constantly going to be there. Yeah. That's constantly going to be hanging around until it's gone. Yeah, no. I, and as Pete says, as Pete says, go look at the comments on the tweet if you want a reminder of the fact that 22 lawsuits are still pending against Deshaun Watson. No, you're, it's, uh, it is it is what you think a little bit. I'm happy for Deshaun Watson. I am happy for the Cleveland Browns. I'm always happy just to see football getting started again and, and guys in the building. Um, it, it's a good first step, I think, for them and the Browns and, and Deshaun Watson. You know, I was going to refer to the tweets because the tweets are they kind of tell it all a little bit, at least some of the comments, you know, in, in articles you've written, social media, all of that. There's one faction of the fan base that is extremely excited. And I would say there's more excitement, at least when I looked at kind of the the thread there of like, yeah, let's go. Browns, blah, 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 all that. I would say it was more that way. Now, maybe it changed later in the day, uh, but but I felt like it was like, Four out of every five tweets was more excitement about the Browns football team. And then you got the, you know, of course, there's the one that's going to say, well, this guy's still a jerk and has issues here. So uh, they, they got some healing to do. That's all there is to it there in Cleveland. They got to get this figured out, I think, to your point, just to kind of get it away, get it out of, off of people's minds a little bit more. It's not going to go away. But I think it'll be a start to, you know, kind of massaging this relationship that, you know, hopefully has some potential. I'm scrolling through some of these tweets, and there's always a chance. Yeah, what do you think? Because like, what, what, what I looked well, at, I thought more, it was more excitement than, than you know, the negative stuff. My, my What was your initial look my, there? Well, I'm seeing that accounts that, uh, based upon what, what the name is and – it's looking like it is Browns fans. I thought maybe it's fans of other teams coming in to vandalize the situation and make it worse. Yeah, but I, I think Browns I didn't think fans so. are yeah. split. I think right. Browns fans are split right. on this. I know my niece, who is a, a very, very rabid and zealous Browns fan, did not like the trade. And I asked her the day that it was announced, would you feel better about it if these cases were resolved and it's basically something that wasn't hanging over you as a Browns fan? And she said, yes, I would feel better if that was over, if that was gone, if that was done. That's not the Browns' business. It shouldn't be the Browns' business. That's past Houston Texans' Deshaun Watson business. And it's been over four weeks now since they traded for Deshaun Watson. And the sooner they wrap it up, the better. That's what they need to do for everyone's sake. I think the time has come. It's been there for a year. It's going to be at least another year. The cases aren't going to trial until after the 2022 season. Maybe one goes in July, but I doubt that's going to happen. This is going to hover. This is going to linger. It's not good for anybody. And Deshaun Watson definitely can afford whatever the settlements would be. Even if each person gets a million dollars, he's getting $230 million over the next five years. And I'm not suggesting that each person should get a million dollars. Yeah, you're but just laying my, it out my there. My guess is that yeah. each person could be settled for significantly less than that. And there's a point where you just have to accept that chapter of my life is over. There's always been a price that I was going to have to pay. Let's get in a room and work out what a fair amount of justice is for all these folks so everyone yeah. can move on. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.